All right, hello everyone. I'm Lonnie with Untitled Nerd Network, brought to you by Infinity Flux out of Hickson, Tennessee. And we are live at, uh, well, not really live, but we are at Conuga <laughs> on uh, the final day. And we're doing, beginning our round of interviews for the day to post throughout the week. And I am here with the band Radio Cult. Now, uh, I got to ask, uh, is it just you two? No. no. Okay, I thought it might have been a little bit bigger band, but you guys are representing here at yeah. Conuga. Okay, so well, go ahead and introduce yourselves. I'm Ricky. I'm Bambi. And we are two of the members of the band Radio Cult. <laughs> that sounded way more official than what I could do. Um, all right, so tell me, I guess the first order of business is, and I, I don't think we have to get right up on the microphone. It's picking up pretty good. Okay. Um, what kind of music do you guys do? We play rock music. Yeah. Rock. Okay. Are we talking like, like kind of new alternative or like classic rock? Yes. Top stuff. Uh, lately, <laughs> lately I've been describing us as kind of a Joan Jett, Ramones sort of thing. Okay, so do you? Are we talking like covers, or you do original work? That depends on where we are. We play okay. we play a variety of covers uh, as well as original music, and the covers range anywhere from the Beatles to Slayer to Justin Bieber to. Uh, Def Leppard to uh, Johnny Cash. Where are you guys from? We're based out of Atlanta. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, you know, th there have been a lot of good uh, musical acts and coming out of Atlanta. And us, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, basically, what, like, we re uh, we interviewed uh, Rumors ATL, the Fleetwood Mac. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What are they yeah. considered, a cover band or a tribute yeah, band? Tribute, tribute band. Tribute band. Tribute. Okay, I'm totally out there. I'm uh, she, she's the she's the music person. I don't even know why I'm doing this interview because she's the one that she's the one that does music. That just means you have more questions. I do. I have a lot of questions. So, uh, y'all got anything like anything recent that you've released? Like, are you like promoting something really hard right now? Uh, well, I wouldn't say we're promoting anything really hard just because we're too lazy. But we did just recently release a DVD. And that entails, what's on the DVD? I'm dying uh, to know. It's a variety of music videos, um, our Saturday morning cartoon, which is like a full-length episode of a cartoon. Um, very Scooby-esque. Yeah, very Scooby-doo. I, I need to hear a little more about that. Uh, well, <laughs> very Scooby-esque. We, uh, we're big fans of cartoons and comic yeah. books and video games and things like that. So we have a comic book and a cartoon and a video game. And a coloring activity book. And a coloring activity book, Which that's like. right. Uh, as well as a bunch of different CDs and T-shirts and your typical band merch. So we're, are we talking like a cartoon of like you guys in animated form? Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, just imagine an episode of Scooby-Doo. And you take out Fred and Daphne and Velma and Shaggy and Scooby and replace them with us. All right. Uh, okay. Like I'm, I'm gonna dig deep on this one. Okay. Um, what? Like, tell me, it, y'all. It's just like a single, what, thirty-minute cartoon? Um, it's not quite thirty minutes. Okay. But uh, it's basically the story of this cartoon is um, my kooky uncle Melvin invites us to play a benefit concert at his creepy old museum and when we show up there's a mummy that's been chasing everybody away so they've closed the museum until they can figure out uh why the the mummy um is is there causing chaos yeah. it's not like shades above a hotel or anything <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's it's much more shades of scooby-doo okay <laughs> it's a who done it Yep. So, I'm, I'm kind of picking up that you guys do have some nerd cred then. Uh, obviously, you're at Con Nuga. How'd you get mixed up with this place? Well, uh, to, to address your first statement that we have some nerd cred, her favorite superhero is Martian Manhunter. Okay. Uh, her favorite comic It's not typical, by the it's way. It's not yeah. typical, no. Her favorite comic <laughs> book is probably Sandman. Yeah, Neil Gaiman's Sandman. Oh, yeah. okay. And um, she's a big fan of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Doctor Who. Um, What's your favorite iteration of the Ninja Turtles? Classic. Definitely classic. We're talking the cartoon, I'm yeah, assuming? The, yeah, sorry, the cartoon classic. Okay, because yeah, I didn't classic. know whether you meant cartoon or the or like what, way back Three comic book. Two toes. No, the, the classic cartoon and the original action figures. Yes, well, yeah, that goes in with it. Yeah, which is weird how that worked because the action figures were modeled for the most part more after the comic book. Whereas, well, 
Kind of, sort of. Well, the com the original was, comic yeah. book was a little darker. Yeah. yeah, they're all dark and they were all and red they were masks. all red. Yeah. Well, it's black and white. Yeah, but, and white. Yeah, but on the, the covers, their masks yeah. were all. Yeah, the action red. figures the were more of like character. a, like an amalgam of both. They had the, yeah. the look, but the color of the cartoon and. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I've been going to conventions since I was a kid, and my dad used to take me to Dragon Con. So I, I mean, I, I played Dungeons and Dragons. I've collected comic books since I was little. I've watched, an embarrassing amount of cartoons. Uh, so. I, I think it's safe to say that we're geeks. Okay. So, uh, again, how did you, how, how does a band like Radio Cult end up at Conanooga? Because you guys, you know, you're, you're featured, you've done you know, some live performances. Yeah. We've and, played uh, every year. This is our 11th year. year at Conanooga. Oh, you've done every year. It's the 11th year, year, the year of Conanooga. So, you've been here since the beginning, and yeah. I'm sure you've seen some changes. Yes. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> we have. So how does that like how tell can I ask the story of how you go from just you know doing shows and everything to coming here? Like how did well, you get mixed up in Conuga? Um, I heard about it the first year before it happened, and I sent an email and said, "Hey, we're a band that uh, is really into a lot of the stuff that you guys are doing," you know like I was just talking about, comic books and cartoons and toys, things like that. And um, we, we sent them, I think, some songs, and uh, they were really excited that, th that the first year somebody actually cared. Because yeah. <laughs> nobody knew. You know, the first year nobody knew how, how it was going to grow and turn into what it is now. Yeah, because like half the time, or more than half the time, a first year convention there's not a second year you know it's yeah. just a and a lot of times there's not a first year for first yeah, year yeah, that, is, that is very true <laughs> i've heard a lot of stories over the past year about that so and we've been involved with some of those as well <laughs> but we've we have easily played uh over a couple dozen conventions um we've done conventions all over the southeast uh, but kanuga was one of the earliest ones we we had done yeah. and we contacted probably Todd at that time uh, and and just got in on the ground floor and I was really active at the time it, it was it wasn't Facebook it was a message board I was really active on the message board and we just um, we were very involved right from the beginning oh, time before Facebook well Facebook I think <laughs> existed there just wasn't a Facebook page for yeah Kanuga. it was way back when a whole it was a whole different world back when this this first started <laughs> Um, so have y'all y'all had an opportunity to walk around the exhibitor hall and check things Not out? Not yet. Really? Yeah. I, I haven't either. Because no, that was because I was about ready to ask. Hey, you know what's your favorite thing? What do I need to go look at? And, nope, y'all haven't had an opportunity <laughs> either. <laughs> y'all been busy. The, I do plan to. Yeah, this side of the convention we're very familiar with. We're very familiar with this, <laughs> this corner. corner. Yeah, oh, uh, <laughs> uh, Captain Maybell over yeah, there. I'm okay. I'm probably going to be interviewing them later on today. That that. Y'all saw the performance, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We've yeah. we've seen them perform numerous times. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah we've, yeah, we've known them for years. We've seen them at other conventions, too. Okay. So can either of you swallow swords? <laughs> no. Not <laughs> like you can. Not <laughs> like Any you. hidden talents that, you know, we'd be aware of? We're not, we're not even good at playing music. We have no <laughs> talents. <laughs> They're so hidden, we haven't found them yet. <laughs> oh, man. So um, I, I want to ask, I kind of getting off topic a little bit but i want to ask some just get to know your question sure go for it um what is your each of you your favorite band that's not radio cult oh <laughs> well radio cult's not even in my top 10 <laughs> <laughs> like oh that's a hard one. Oh, I, don't, I don't think i could pick one you gotta pick one oh, that's not, not to put you on the spot that's not to put fair. you on the spot but i'm gonna put you on the spot yeah, like this, this, <laughs> exactly this, it's mine's mood dependent. Really, I, Aerosmith. I'll pick Aerosmith today. Aerosmith. Okay. Just today. I'll pick today. That'll be. And you've had a little bit of time to think during her answer, so. Oh yeah, mine would. If you ask me an hour from now, it would be it would be a different band. Yes. Um, but right now, I'm gonna say the Police. Interesting. Okay. So that's like, I'm not gonna say night and day, but that's two very different sounds. Yeah, well, <laughs> she, very different at different time of the day. She like, could have said Michael Jackson, and, Jackson and uh, I could have said Led Zeppelin. You know, yeah. it, or typo negative. That's another one of mine. She could have oh, said typo negative, and I could have said you too. I, it, any of those would have been 
uh, answers that would not have surprised the other one. I have an easier one. Okay. okay. Favorite Marvel movie? That That is not easier. Really? Yeah. I'm going to have to go with Thor because it has Thor and Loki in it. <laughs> like, are, are we talking like all three Thor movies or yeah, like just well, anything? I haven't seen the newest one. I actually haven't seen the newest okay. one yet. Okay. I haven't either. Yeah, so. I we're, I seem, it feels like we're on the same page here. I, for mine, I'm going to go with the first Iron Man. That is funny because we, uh, we've we actually just, the, the reason I asked that is because we just started doing a uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe uh, movie review series where we start with Iron Man and go in order all the way to the end. Okay. And we're, we're hoping to get it done before Infinity War. And uh, I've seen Iron Man probably 3,000 times. And... When we were doing our review, Amber watched it, and it, this was last week. She watched Iron Man for the first time and did not care for it. She gave it like a 7 out of 10, and I'm over hey, there. Hey, like, that's not bad. 7 like, out yeah, of 10 is not bad. 7. A 3 out of 10 is not caring for it. <laughs> I didn't care for that movie. I gave it a 3 out of 10. A 7 out of 10 is, it's all right. That's all right. <laughs> I just, I don't get it. I really don't. I was distracted. Somebody's coming up to our booth, looking at the space cat shirt. Like, oh, our shirt, our new shirt this year is space cat. Yeah. We have a space yeah, cat a space shirt. Cat you want to, you want to grab, grab one and show grab it a shirt. On the, and, and, and I'm gonna give you, you guys, a chance to, to pimp your merch. You know, we, gotta, <laughs> we just did. That was it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we gotta see it. Come on. Oh my God. Space cat. Amber, I want it. You need to go closer, closer. and get it in focus. I'm just do what? So you can't have now, I, cat over there. Can, oh, yeah. Can, <laughs> yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah. It looks yeah. amazing. That's How? a big part of yeah, our show. There's a, there's, there's a heavy things. cat theme <laughs> in, in the radio <laughs> cult <laughs> universe. Why did we have to do this? Because now I want everything. Our comic book has multiple stories. I should say this about our comic book. We have a lot of friends who are comic book artists and writers and comic book creators. And one of our friends did a comic book cover for us before we had even, you know, planned on doing a comic book. Mm -hmm. And it was so amazing that Bambi and I said, well, now we got to do a comic book so we could use this cover. And we have so many amazing friends who are great comic book artists that uh, each one did a little short story for us. Um, or I should say several of them did short stories for us. One of the stories is about a cat who drives a race car. So so we've got a cat that drives a race car as one of our stories. There are cats in all of the stories, I believe. Yes. So you guys are speaking my language now because I, I'm a major, major cat person. I got two cats. Their names are Logan and Jubilee. Aww. And uh, where'd you get those names? Yeah, I, I have a very unhealthy obsession with Jubilee and I feel the need to mention it in every video as, um, but yeah, I mean, I, I love that. So what, just a love of cats is well, how that ended now, up. Well, I, I should say, all, although we have things like, there's a cat that's in our cartoon, there's a cat that's in our video game, there's a cat that's in our comic book. Um, the real cat thing is we have the most robot cats on stage during our show of any band in the Southeastern United States. And how many is that? I don't More than four. Yeah, I don't even know at this point. Uh, I would guess at our peak, it was probably close to 30, Holy 30 robot crap. cats. It takes a lot of batteries. Yes, yeah. Oh, we're talking like legitimate robot cats, yeah, not, yeah. not people dressed up as robots. No, 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 no. no, no, no we're talking no. about I was gonna they it. look like real cats so much that people have asked us, how do you get those cats to stay up on stage while you're making all that noise? Oh, My cat right. would take off running and hide, but your cats are all just sitting up there like nothing's going on. It's because they're robots. Is, is the is the comic book in any relation to the cartoon? Uh, yes, they're both about us. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's like a different style, yeah, different it's, storytelling. The comic book, uh, I wrote a couple of the stories, but several of the stories were written by other people. And each one was illustrated by a different artist. So the cover has one look, and then each story has a different look. And the cartoon was done by one of the artists who did one of the stories for the comic book. So there's a similar style between his story and the cartoon. But um, it, they're, they're all different. 
And okay. we also have a cartoon music video that's separate from our Saturday morning cartoon style cartoon. Well, I could sit here and talk to you guys all day, but the dealer's hall is open, <laughs> and y'all have had about four groups come by looking at your tables since we yeah, started. I'm like, kind of uh, but, by, like, yeah, but, but y'all are like right next door to us, and so it's like we ain't got far to go. Yeah. But uh, but I, I really appreciate you guys coming yeah, on. Thank, thank you for talking. It's been you. great, and like I said, if we had time and we weren't rushed and we had like a quiet space, we could sit here and talk for. We could do an hour-long show on this. So, uh, but anyway, I appreciate it. Uh, Radio Cult, everybody. Uh, Visit us online at radiocult.com. Yes, yes yeah. that was. I was about to do the uh, the whole promotion thing, but uh, yeah, radiocult.com. Check them out. They uh, are y'all doing a live show today, or no, was that just we yesterday? We just had one yesterday. Okay. All right. That yeah, that was right after our uh, panel. So all right, we're uh, at Conuga. By the time you're watching this, Conuga will be over. But uh, you can still check out Radio Cult at RadioCult.com. Uh, I'm Lonnie with Untitled Nerd Network, brought to you by Infinity Flux out of Hickson, Tennessee. And uh, we'll see you next year.